Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lucy Sandwich. And welcome to the BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. Yes, it has. Oh my gosh, it's been a long week. But Maddie has his contacts back. Look. Kind of. I got a trial pair. But yeah. then, like after I like verify they fit fine, which they do. I've been. It's been great the last couple of days. Then they got to order my contacts. So I feel I'm gonna have to go back to glasses again. You think so? Yeah. Ugh. That's okay. But they have. He has like astigmatism contacts on now that are yeah. bigger. They're larger. That's so in diameter. Weird. Yeah. I can't tell from here. Cause you know, oh, actually, I can. Really? And you have see like, the the, you know them? how yeah. sometimes you could see the edge of somebody's contact. If you're really around. looking for them, yeah. Yeah, I could see yours a little bit. Uh, they're extending a little bit. Wow. But are they comfy? You like them? Yeah, they're fine. And I see fantastic. Like when they're doing my test, it was about 2050 with the contacts oh in. God. So it's like, okay, I can dream. yeah, man, hook me up. I can Ugh. see awesome right now. My eyes are so bad. And right now, like our fingers are crossed for toddler otter and brother otter that their eyes won't be terrible. I hope well, they I have your eyes. Well, I have astigmatism and I need glasses. You really, really need glasses. So and it's I'm really just a matter of whether or not their eyes are only going to be kind of effed or totally yeah. effed. And you know? I found out a couple weeks ago that I'm pre-glaucoma. Yeah. And they want me to go to an eye institute yeah. and have my eyes checked checked in all of this so it, it's like it's creepy but well, so, you gotta wait till you're not pregnant anymore i know really. because like, hormones and all that kind of stuff can your mess eyes. with your eyes and yeah it's really strange sometimes i'll get like some double vision sometimes yeah. i'll get like some haloing around lights wow and things like that and it comes and goes at night's a little tricky it's really weird how like your body starts to do all this weird stuff with pregnancy Meow. but we have a lot to talk about yes, oh my we gosh do. we are stacked yes we so are let's get to it let's go well one of the big things that we did this week was watch the mortal kombat 11 reaction the reveal reveal yes we reacted to the reveal oh my god it looks crazy yeah i'm so psyched it I'm looks so, so good. nervous i it's oh my god oh my god it's gonna be so disgusting yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play some mk9 on the stream and for the channel we're mm -hmm. gonna do how did what did we decide well we never did the mk9 we we started with mortal kombat 10 right when that came out mortal kombat x and yeah. like and we started doing all this stuff most of you guys have seen that i think mm -hmm. um and then the new one's coming out and there's one of the characters they announced scarlet who was from the Mortal Kombat 9 DLC. And I played Mortal Kombat 9 years ago on the yeah. on the Vita and I loved it, but it's mm. been a while. I don't really remember the story. And I never did the DLC I never got the DLC and mm. Scarlet was a DLC character from cool. 9. We'll and everyone's out. psyched. So we're like, now we're gonna go back to MK9, check that out. We're gonna stream right after we're done recording this. We're gonna do the MK9 story mode. And then probably on YouTube we'll do some fatalities and stuff like that and take a look at them. Cause we haven't really gone through that whole <laughs> thing. I have I know I haven't seen them all. I know. And it's been so long since I've seen any of them. So we're in a Mortal Kombat mood because Mortal Kombat 11's got us hype. And so we are going to do some of that. My 2019 Lissy thing is I'm trying. I am way farther back than I thought I was. Yeah, it was. You were not thought, comfortable with that reveal no. at all. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I played all those horror games last year. I'm going to be totally fine with all this gore. Nothing. Yeah. Just completely They're rough, wiped, though. Completely They're rough. Gone. They're I always know. pushing the envelope. But yeah. we're going to watch the combat cast, I think, on the 30th. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure that that goes up. But maybe we'll get a little bit I more I think they're going to they're gonna give us some more characters and people are are uh, speculating that Cabal's going to be in there, who was my That's Mortal crazy. Kombat 3 yeah. go-to back in the day. Really? So I'm psyched about oh my that. Gosh. Yeah. But maybe We'll kind of ease into it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It won't be so much of a shock for Mike. Yeah. Well. So I don't know, but I, I'm I'm excited. Yeah. I am excited. I, I do like Mortal Kombat. I grew up with Mortal Kombat and all that kind of stuff. But um, still, it's, it's, it's still gross. It's, it's so hard to watch. I know. <laughs> well, Baby Shark has yeah. taken over the world. I'm sorry if just mentioning the words Baby Shark have triggered you, <laughs> because it's been in my head for a while. Now, what's really weird about Baby Shark, though, is that the popular one, we watch a set of videos with Toddler Otter. They have they have a Baby Shark song, but it is and That not... was the first one that we heard. Yes, that was yeah. the first one we heard. Baby Shark, do 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 Baby Shark, right? That's the one we're used to. But then this one is Baby, baby Shark, do 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 Baby Shark, do do right. So that was like... Totally different, yeah. But this one has the hand movements. You get the, this baby shark. Yeah. You get mommy shark. Yeah. You get daddy shark. I like grandma shark. Yeah. <laughs> and grandpa teeth. shark with no teeth. That's yeah. so cute. But it turns, it's on the billboard top 40. It's top 40. That's. Billboard 100. That's crazy. That's insane. That's crazy. It has completely taken over. Virality is unpredictable. Yeah. I know. Seven you never know. Seven billion. Seven billion. That's crazy. So now what they're doing 
is there, t of course, now they're going to start all of like the plushies mm -hmm. and the shirts. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll dig in on this. Oh, hardcore. my gosh. Yeah, they're starting a whole line of Amazon stuff. But um, if you have young kids around or like a smaller sibling or whatever, and you're part of this baby shark train, or if you just hear baby shark everywhere and you can't get it out of your head, put it in the comments because it kind of, it hurts. Yes. It hurts a little bit. Share your baby shark pain. But you know what I, I thought that was kind of interesting is baby shark was written by a group of parents with to, well, to keep in mind that parents will have to listen to these songs over and over and over. So now it's becoming a thing where they want it to be more palatable. Like fun. Yes, for an adult to Not just like, to. here's a kid's song. Do, yeah. Do, do, do. Yes, because yeah, so. they were saying that the comparison that, makes sense. that they were using was Barney. Uh, and they said God. Barney was insufferable, yeah. wasn't he? Boy, and, love you. Oh my God, I can't even think about it. Oh, I can't even oh, think about that it. That was, everybody hated that. I know. That's except, why I loved Barney Doom. It was a mod for the original oh, Doom where you get to right. kill Barney oh, at the end God. of the first episode. I loved it. But like, he was like, he was like crack to like yeah. these little kids, yep. you know? And he was, he was like a really big deal, but he was so annoying and yeah. everybody hated Barney. So they're like, well, now we have to make these songs so that they're like nice to listen to yeah. and repetitive. So and the fun for it, fun for the whole family. Oh my god. Rated G. But I know, but I, I like I like sharks. I'm good. The, I'm, I'm um, not, you know, this song isn't like making me angry like the Barney song was. No. When we first heard the other one, we're like, this was kind of fun. Yeah. You know, like, oh. Because, you know, know, all the other songs, you know, like, uh, what was the cleanup song? The cleanup song. Yeah. I mean, there's like so many other songs that we listen to all the time. Oh, yeah. The oh, just clean like. Clean up. Oh, clean yeah. Clean up. We have Everybody, <laughs> let's clean up. That's clean right. Clean up. And put yeah. your things away. I so, I mean, we when, it, when that's your alternative, day. I will take Baby Shark any day of the week. No. Should I play it? Should I play a little bit of it? Should I play a little bit? I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm not going to play the whole ah. thing, though. Oh, we don't even have headphones on. Look go. at this. Oh, my God. We're so professional. What are we even doing? Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, my God. Look how cute he is. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. But still, I mean, it starts with their little Jaws thing. Oh. But you know what? Toddler Otter goes like, Daddy Shuck. <laughs> do do Daddy Shuck. It's really cute. I know. So now we're giving them another one. But it's super cute. Do you know? Oh, great. Now my night's ruined. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, I have uh, Oh god, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. I need to be able to handle the rest of this weekend. Because uh, seriously, look how we look, look at that face. He's like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! But yeah, see, like that is, oh yeah, we listen to the hot dog, hot diggity dog all the yeah, time. Yeah, we can talk about, yeah, like, yeah, there's one of the baby first songs oh, right there. Oh, these, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's like the, the songs we listen to, but this one isn't that bad. And you know, he dances. No, it's not fun. bad. It's yeah, not bad. it's a good time. All right. Not a lot to talk about here. <laughs> other than the, uh, an Instagram photo has now beaten Kylie Jenner's most liked Instagram photo, and it's a picture of an egg. I think I'm totally okay with this. I think that's good. I'm it totally, was totally her announcing this. the birth of That is of so her much daughter, more internet-y, isn't it? Like this is Pet more fits. appropriate. I know. To be the biggest. Is that like, where we are in the world now? Yeah. <laughs> that an Instagram account, like the, the most liked Instagram of all it's time. Like, we deserve it. Yes. To have it be an it's egg. It's like you always want to pull it back. The internet is so guarded about their indie status <laughs> that, so like, true. if some corporation yeah. or a like huge conglomerate gets a win on something. We're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. We need something completely useless to have that <laughs> mantle, like a picture of an egg. That's You know? Funny. It's like, no, nah, that's not going to fly. The same thing happened with T-Series and PewDiePie, right? I know. T-Series cute collaborative, and everyone's like, no, no, we got to keep this indie. Here's I PewDiePie. Know. And For I know, sure. we're very guarded of our independent status, yeah, I think, you know? Yeah, we are. But one of the best things that come out of this, I think, are the memes. Oh, and 100%. And this one had me dying yeah. over here. Mike Tyson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he tweeted this earlier. Earlier in the week, and I cackled. I thought this was so funny <laughs> that people are just sending it to him. But everybody's like, you know, they're memeing this egg. That's they're putting it in all kinds of memes and you. things. I know, isn't that? And now he's a meme because yeah. all you gotta do is replace the egg with anything. I know, or any any bald man. Yeah, you could kind of put their faces on. I saw Patrick Starr became like the day after it happened, yeah. jumped on it and did a, a tutorial on the egg and put like a bald cap on and yeah. put his face and kind of close. But I even 
like how now, like, Mike Tyson, oh, you don't even have to include the tweet anymore. You can just put that face and oh, people yeah. know exactly what yeah, it is. He's like, completely huh. memed now. Like, but <laughs> his, this, uh, this response killed yeah, me. It's great. It's oh fantastic. Oh, my God. I know. But I like it. I think it's cool. It's, it's so hilarious. Stupid. But yeah. like you said, it's like the, the internet trying to pull back. It should be silly. Whatever's up there should be freaking silly. Oh, totally. You know? Totally. That's like memes and GIFs yeah. and it's like... It's like one of like the great joys in my life. For yeah, real. Oh, they're they're one of the god. greatest gifts me. the internet has gifts. given us. I know. You know. Oh god, it's so seriously great. like I we didn't have it. these back in the day, and they're freaking amazing. Okay. Also, just a heads up, if you're into this kind of thing, is that this upcoming Monday, which will now be tomorrow, is Blue Monday, which is I don't know if you heard about it. It's the. I was just you beat me to the punch. Blue Monday. Oh, does it fail? But. Blue Monday is the third Monday in January, and it's mathematically proven to be the most depressing day of the year. Wow. So it's coupled with the weather and just having kind of poopy weather around this time. Also, Christmas debt oh. and realizing that now you're paying off all of your holiday expenses and yeah. things like that. And also just the holidays being over mm -hmm. and getting that because we were talking about that not too long ago. I don't know if it was on the channel or here or not, but it was kind of like uh, we were talking about how the holidays kind of ramp up and your schedule gets kind of nuts and then it all just kind of falls off the cliff and then it's done. And then yeah. you're cleaning it up. Yeah. And all that. Because it, it's, you get to that point between from Thanksgiving to Christmas from from Halloween, Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas yeah. and then New Year's yeah there is no normal week throughout that entire period especially if you have a family if you're in a right, family right like there's just events all the time things to do is place to go and then you get to uh, a week after New Year's in January and we're like yeah next thing's you Valentine's could, Day in a month and a half yeah. so like you got nothing for a while and suddenly yeah. it's like we're gonna have a couple normal weeks of nothing here exactly, it's, exactly. it's interesting I mean hopefully that's a good thing for you yeah you know it, it to settle falls. back into routine I liked getting back into our you regular always routine. do yeah. yeah he he kind of likes taking the tree down and getting everything back to yeah normal. I like getting the house back yeah he yeah. does he's always like oh you know I I'm always like oh I think I put it on Instagram a little while ago when we were taking everything off of the tree and I was like this day is so sad we usually take everything down the weekend after New Year's. So yeah. no matter what day that falls on, yeah, we whatever that just falls pull it on, down. Yeah. yeah and this is the way it shook out. It's not really that calculated. Yeah, it just it's really not. Yeah. yeah. But you can even make the argument about just the holiday, not even a holiday or just like a, like a time of the year ramp up. You could even say the fall even because school yeah. starts back up. Yeah. A lot of like sports and marching band and plays and mm -hmm. all that stuff. It all just kind of goes. Yeah. And then, you know, then you're kind of in your routine. You kind of get it. It's not new anymore in January. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like you said, there's Halloween and the holidays and Thanksgiving and all that kind and of stuff. And then things stay pretty slow just, until the summer. It's really the fall is just crazy. Yeah. You know? It, this, because you do get Valentine's Day. Yeah. And then there's like some smaller holidays. The there's the 4th of July. Yeah. You I, know? Love, I love the 4th of July. But it's like you don't prepare for the 4th of July. You don't decorate for the 4th of July. Yeah. You know? You just yeah. go to fireworks, maybe see barbecue. some family and barbecue and that's it. Yeah. You know? So it's a pretty simple it's holiday. It's not the big decor. Like, no. Get everything out. You don't have you don't holiday. have 4th of July boxes in your basement where no. you got to decorate the the house of fourth of july <laughs> right i mean right. some people do yeah some you have like do. you have like a little knickknack you put out or something like that mm -hmm. but like you're not going crazy you're right. not putting like like um bringing a tree in your house yeah bringing a tree in your house <laughs> you're not putting spotlights to the front with like american flags yeah, that cover yeah. the front of your house i mean maybe somebody maybe does some people most do. people yeah. don't yeah and you know so I don't know. It's it's easier for me. It's not until you get to to, to Halloween, which you're preparing for. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving, which you're preparing for and decorating for. Yeah. Then Christmas, which you change everything for. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's really when it happens. Yeah. Falls that's a good nuts, point. especially because school it starts is. up too all at the same time. Yeah. It's I, crazy. For me, my year crescendos to summer. My year, like I just want to get to the summer mm -hmm. all the time. So I, I know that this falls under the umbrella of there's something called seasonal affective disorder, where it's a legit disorder where you get depressed or kind of like a blue type of mood or a funk in crappier weather. Or sometimes it happens to people who live in areas where it's like dark for 24 hours or they have like when the days are really short, like you need as a human being, you need sun, mm -hmm. you know, you need that vitamin D. Right. So sometimes with the, coupled with the short days and the crappy weather and the rain and the cold and all of that, some people get depressed and it does affect your mood. It's affected my mood a couple of times, not my mood, but like my energy 
level. Like, I don't want to Energy level for today. sure. Yeah. 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 It could definitely affect That's that. That's a better like, way to put sometimes it. Sometimes you look outside, you're like, the yeah. only thing I want to do today is be in bed. That's yeah, it. exactly. That's all I want to yeah. do, you know? But is that mood or is that energy? That's energy. I don't yeah. think that's mood at all that's because good, I could be yeah, totally happy so. like that. Oh, totally, I could be like, oh, yeah. this is the best. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm chilling in my bed and playing a video game and watching yeah. TV and it's like crappy outside. I love it. That is nice. You know? That's nice. So those are yeah. two very independent things. I yeah, think, yeah. You know? But I could definitely see how it could affect somebody's mood. Do any of you yeah. have that? It, it's yeah. sometimes, Especially if you're kind of on an edge anyway. Yeah, of course. You know, things yeah, aren't going very good. It could kind of make things, you know, a little, it could kind of be your cherry on top. It can be your cherry on top. Yeah, I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. All right. So I've heard a lot about this here Gillette commercial. Me too. We haven't seen it. Have not watched it yet. We uh, stayed but away. man, because like as soon as I saw it getting like people had a lot of opinions about this. Yeah. And we thought, like, let's watch it for BS on the air because we're gonna talk about it with you guys. And that always yeah. means we gotta avoid it for the week. So it's always kind of funny. I know. Everybody's talking about it. We can't jump in the conversation. And I so know. we've seen it. But we now did. we're gonna watch it. Right. We did manage to avoid this, uh, yeah, for the whole Wow, that week. ratio is bad. It is. I was just gonna say six hundred and five thousand down down uh, up, I'm sorry, and one point one million down. I bet it's tone deaf. It sounds like it's... I bet okay, it's well, let's find that, out. Okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not even 100% sure what to expect here. No, I, I neither do I. Don't, neither okay. do I. This guy looks like Idris Elba, doesn't he? In a little bit. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual harassment. Toxic masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over... It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old oh. excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something boys. finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says he's a prostitute. And there will be no going back. Because we. We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Well, that was amazing, by the way, that his To deposition. say the right thing. Terry Crews. To act the right oh, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men, And small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Kind of out of. I think I guess they want to be like Coca Cola, right? I mean, I guess. Like they, they're like. Although it's kind of like, wasn't it like Coca Cola that did that one about like, here, let me, let me give the Coke to the cop. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wasn't that them? Yeah. Well, they inserted their product. Yeah. Into it, they yeah. didn't even say anything. This is about interesting. This this didn't say anything. This wasn't about shaving. The, the closest thing had to shaving <laughs> was that nobody had a beard, and they were all looking at each other, like they're looking at themselves in the bathroom mirror. Nobody you think had gonna start? a beard. No, no. There's a couple like short beards. Beards like, are like in right yeah. now. Oh, there was a guy. Okay, yeah, there's a beard. We've, got, we've got some beards. We got some beards. We've got some facial hair, <laughs> but not like a lot you know, of clean cut. Well, look at all those. None cut. of those kids have a beard. Well, they're using their razors. None of those children have beards. Something's wrong with this. You know what? Maybe it's. Uh, you know what though? Like, I get it. Uh, yeah, I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, I th I guess it's just kind of like. I feel like I'm gonna hate it like in an hour. I feel. No, I feel like it's. I think the weird thing about this to me is it's a commercial. Like, yeah, it's still a commercial. It's still a commercial. Yeah, yeah. And like, this isn't like, like we don't need Gillette telling us. Like, I mean, but at yeah. the same time, it's like, you know, at the same time, personally, I pretty much agree with everything. It's in oh, there. of course. You know, of I'm like, course, yeah. it's um um. I, it needs to be a dialogue. It resonates it, with me. It, it, it oh, does. Totally. Yeah. So and and it's you know, but it's gonna make a lot. Stuff like this makes people mad. 
you it know, because really they're does. saying don't put your social justice worries yeah, into my products, into my and products and things stuff like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. a but lot like, of people don't like that. Yeah, and you know, it's, your lane. yeah, it is kind of like there is. I mean, there's an argument for that for sure. I think so. It is. Yeah, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it uh, being like a, a company like is in a product like this. You what know? do you think the uproar is about? I feel like it's got to be something to do with that. About you know? just them interjecting their uh, social yeah, justice. Them type telling people how to how to how to live, basically. Well, you know? it, yeah. Although, is it really a bad thing to say, "Hey, watch what you're saying around your boys"? Yes, a lot of people believe so because and, then people believe that you're blaming everybody for the actions of a few people of a few. You I know, because at the end of the day, the majority of men are, are good people. Yeah, yeah. You know, sure. like we are not seeing this happen on such a rampant level that would suggest you to see like most people are doing this. Oh, oh right, right. You know, right. they're not, you know, yeah. the vast majority of people, they're not. Yeah, they're not. that's not even. <laughs> yeah. The, and like, so so the vast majority of people, this puts blame on them for the the actions of a very of a small minority, you yeah, know, for but sure. like it's but a lot of people believe it's a cultural thing, whether or not it's anything else and it's a cultural thing that has to be steered and and the conversation has to change yeah so that's where the argument that's why i feel like the argument has merit mm. um personally yeah i feel like it's i feel executed like executed a little weird it is executed a little strangely i, I per, my personal belief here i know this is super controversial i know not everyone's gonna agree with me right but i feel like my, my personal belief is that people that see it as putting blame on uh, on people who are good uh, mm -hmm. for the blame for the for the minority are kind of missing the point uh, and seeing it from the wrong angle yeah, because yeah. it is still embedded in small ways in culture by oh, good gosh. people right oh, and like by people that yeah. don't intend it to be anything like that right and that's the whole idea it's what like if it's if it's not happening unconsciously then it's not embedded in culture right mm, it's right. an unconscious state that we're in that has to change it has to be moved slowly and just through um you know awareness and consciousness that yeah, like huh, yeah. what kind of message it's got, is it it's going to be generational when it's, you grow up with it you don't see it as fast as you think that's oh, just gosh. kind of the way it is yeah. when you grow up with it you don't see it and you're boys blind to will it be boys and, yeah that's that yeah. thing because it, it's a way of not having to explain it yeah, you know that's that's sure. the way of not having to explain it because mm -hmm. explaining it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. and, and it, it just plain is mm -hmm. right it's it's very uncomfortable and very weird and like you, you want to think of things like most people do this and they don't turn out bad. That doesn't necessarily make it good, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's not mutually exclusive. So Yeah, yeah, totally. It's a crazy... I, I'm having Gillette kind of have to have that conversation, I think, is a little weird. And I probably think that yeah. that's... Should they have gotten the, involved? Did they have to get involved? Did they have this role where they felt so self-important that they felt... That's kind of, I feel like, some of it because yeah, it's that, like the Coke like, thing. We need to say something. It's yeah, like the Coke it's thing, like, you know? Dude, like, just be a beverage. Just be a razor company. Yeah, and I know? get it. You want to you you get your, you know, you want to take a stance. You want to have a, a, an opinion on stuff mm -hmm. like that. But we, I think, are at a point culturally where commercials that are these, like, I'm mm -hmm. going to stand up and tell you something on my pulpit, yeah. you know? Right. Like, on a commercial setting, right. doesn't resonate with people like it used to when it was just everybody watching TV together. Yeah, that's... You know, oh, now it's a YouTube video and it's like, yeah. you know, yeah, thanks for that. You know, like anyway, let's get back to what we were doing here, right. which was probably not being a bad person. Right. Yeah. That's what that's what a lot of people are saying. For sure. So but I get it at the same time. Yeah. I totally get it. I and can see both sides of this. I, I think that people who are, I hate to say the word triggered by something like this or angered by the content of this yeah. feel like just the whole me too everything is being shoved down. Yeah, they feel like throat. they're being preached to. Yeah. Nobody likes being preached and to. No, no. And and I get that. I understand totally that. And get it's it. and it's it's a conclusion that you have to come to yourself if you even want to get there. You can't change anybody's opinion. They have yeah. to get there by themselves. You could give information and all that kind of stuff and maybe you could make the argument that that's what they're doing. I think that's what they're doing, but if you were somebody who was or still in the board Boys will be boys camp you would probably think like oh them too yeah now my razor mm -hmm. you know like i don't get it from everywhere anyway and yeah and you know just conversely what if this came out and said basically like it's like boys will be boys let's go do what we want to do all the time blah and like yeah. it's like then the re there might have been also a same reaction to it yeah i feel like yeah you know yeah. like but i think that's that's why i think that's more the problem i think mm -hmm. it's them waiting into this space to begin with Right, right, Regardless right. of what side they go on, because I feel like if it was the opposite message, you'd have the same reaction. Yeah. I'm not sure there's yeah. a way they could have done this that would have flowed through and people would have been mm. like standing up and yeah. like, yeah, Gillette, yeah. Yeah, like, for sure. There really wasn't an outcome where that was going to mm. happen, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Well, ah. Let me know. What, let us know what you think in the comments because I'm kind of maybe because we just saw it and I need to sit on it a little bit more. Yeah, that tends to happen a little bit where I'm kind of like. This uh, guy think I'm gonna go read other people's opinions and their takes on it. Yeah. That could be really illuminating. Right? Yeah, so for sure. I'm gonna see that. Definitely. Okay, it's time for the subreddit oh, no. of the week and the premature celebration. Oh no. Now this could be bad. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay. 
Look at that. Oh. When he whipped around that corner, though, he kind of thought he was okay. He totally did, obviously. <sighs> oh my God. Hey, you deserve that. Kind of did. You deserve that. Yeah, kind of. That reminds did. me of, um, uh, <laughs> that happens. This happens in professional sports a lot, especially it football. It does, yes. It like, does. you ever see a guy, somebody in football running like the length and then they start slowing down, like, yeah. oh, I'm about to get this touchdown, yeah. and then somebody starts catching up behind him and catches him? Oh my gosh. I oh, know. yeah. Crazy. Something about this. that super satisfied, too. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, 11 months ago, a friend of I know. I know. A friend of mine people, made a drug decision this afternoon. Look at that. Oh. Can you imagine? Sorry, guys. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, that is just not a, good, not a good look. It's not a good look. But then you've got like little stuff over here that says like, look at this, never obsolete. <laughs> oh, never obsolete. Oh, the E-Tower, the E-Machines. These were freaking, oh my God, they were so cheap. Were they, they really? Oh, we used to get, I was working at CompUSA fixing computers when these were out, okay? They came in all the freaking time for repairs. Those components no were really? cheap. Yeah, oh I think those, those broke so often. Every time we see one, oh man, there was, somebody had a, like this old AOL somebody picture. had a nickname for him and I don't remember what it was anymore. What? One of the texts I had a nickname for it and it was just, I don't remember what it is right now, but yeah, they were bad. So and they always had that tag on said never obsolete. Never obsolete. Like, crap. Oh my God. It was, it was supposed to be a deal that you were going to be able to get <sighs> upgrades, like scheduled upgrades. Ugh. They never obsolete thing, but they went out of business. It just didn't happen. Uh, look at this one. My friend's two most recent snaps on his story. Just stuck into the movie theater, LMAO. I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Like I, I kind of. You I stuck kind of in. Why would you like before bit. you got your seat? You would sit there and take text. out your phone. Yeah. And Let me just snap it? like draw attention to myself. Turn on the screen. Oh my gosh. Yay! <laughs> oh. Look at that. Good oh. for you. Look, you run like that is that is the. This is why like. If you're in like a sport, I mean, how often is it like preach finish? Like yes. get started on play and finish the play. You finish yeah. your check. If it's hockey, you know, you do not like let up. You uh, you just go all the way through because you never freaking know. You got to get a cost. She's looking line. at a screen. Yeah. You see like she's looking or whatever, but she had like a, a second win. She pushed in that. Yeah. Look second. at that sprint. Yeah. She must have saw her try and like slow down because she yeah. had her arms like this and then kind of loosened her arms a little bit. Well, she's bit. also trying to catch these other two people here. So there's, oh, there's a couple yeah, people, yeah. so she's like, I got a chance to improve my spot. She may not have thought she could get the first, yeah, yeah. but she did. Oh, it's crazy. God. Damn, I, good for you. I know. Like, that's pretty cool. And then this one, look at this one. Gamer thinks he has already won while the game is still going on. I wish there was sound here. Look at this. I think I've seen this. Really? I think I remember this happening. Oh my God. You deserved that, bro. You kind of deserved it. Yes. I remember that happening. I think it was last year. Oh. I feel like that was last year. Oh my gosh. Three months ago, it says. That was when it was posted. Wow. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah. I feel like it was before that. I oh feel like it happened long God. ago. Maybe it was three months ago, but I feel like I saw that a while ago, but I do remember that. You can't, Can you imagine being the that was person? Already, uh, there was, this was a pro championship. Yeah. Really? Like, can you imagine though being like this guy? Yeah. And then like what that must feel I like. I think this might have been, if this wasn't the actual championship, mm -hmm. it was like a, it was like a, a, a playoff from like very close to the end. But I feel oh, like yeah. this might have been the last round, if I remember correctly. Maybe some of you guys know in the comments. Mm. I'm curious if you remember this, but oh my God. yeah, I definitely remember it. Oh, oh. Yeah, that, oh, that's, that's got to be humiliating. Really yeah, Evo. Really okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, two things we want to touch on real quick. One is we've been talking about R. Kelly for, I feel like, a month now. Yeah, a couple episodes at least, yeah. Yeah, he was dropped by Sony. Sony dropped him. The other day. Now, here's the thing, though, that's kind of weird. So, he had, his last release was in 2016. He did several independent songs, but they said he is still, like, they, his, his back catalog will remain with them. Mm -hmm. So you could still listen under the Sony umbrella. Mm -hmm. They still get money. Yeah. They're not completely cutting ties, as far no. as I understand. I, that just means they're not going to work with them anymore. Right. 
basically. They right. drop you from the label, so we're not going to fund your tours anymore. We're not going to help book you. Yeah, we're yeah. not going to put out any more of your records. Right. Like, I, I, what I'm curious now, I mean, I don't, I personally, I do not expect Soda to just drop the catalog. Yeah. They own all the rights to the music. They invested a lot of money in him, and they need to make it back. Yeah. Like, that's how businesses work. Well, some people pulled the songs completely. Lady Gaga has since pulled. Yeah, Sony that's Dion that's her song. Pulled. She that's could pull her point. song. That's she fine, song, you know? Yeah. Like, Sony. Yeah, it's a, we're talking about a cow. I, just, I don't know. I personally don't expect them to do that. Yeah. Um, but I'm curious now is if somebody else actually does pick him up. Mm. I don't think anybody will. No, uh, I think he might try to independently, yeah, publish and, and book tours. He might try to do it independently. Maybe he'll start a label. Maybe he might start a label. Oh God! But uh, who knows? I mean, I want charges. I feel like this well, is a step in the right direction. The problem with stuff like I this do. is like you get past charges. the statute of limitations for a lot of stuff. And when we we're getting to before, uh, the people that are with him. I mean, we're talking about um, like. Uh, what shoot what's that syndrome stockholm stockholm syndrome right where they just they believe that they're they don't yeah. believe that they're captive the the cops have been there since this whole thing has gone down since the documentary and everything and have interviewed a couple of women that he has in his care mm -hmm. independent from him mm -hmm. and said like look do you want to be here and they're like yep yeah so it's like it's like a they also like well, a every one of them have signed something we saw earlier where they say they've stole from him and they've signed it He's they got, say they do these terrible things to them to sign it yeah. so that if it ever goes to court then they have no he like can, to stand off and yeah, stand, stand on the court because up. they have like this thing they signed that said they did these things and that's a lot harder to prove that he forced them to do that yeah um, so yeah, I mean, I, who knows? That's why. That's why there's a chance that he doesn't go to jail. Yeah. But you never know. Somebody might come up with something that sticks. Somebody might wake up. Somebody might decide to press charges, and Especially we'll see. Especially since he is actively doing this right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. This is like I, I understand statute of limitations. Like that was an issue with Bill Cosby. It, it really is an issue in the legal system. Period. Mm -hmm. But it is. still, the idea that this is still going on right now. There are girls that he is with now. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing they can do legally. Like they're, I feel horrible for their families. Can you imagine this being like your sister or your daughter or no, your it's friend? it's insane. Yeah. You know, and just knowing like they're under this spell of this guy. You mm -hmm. know. So, but then like you can't make somebody do they what they don't want to do. Nope. You know. Yeah. And they've got to get there. And this part of like the cycle of abuse. He's is, so careful to have like 18 year olds now too. Yeah. So he yeah. can't. You know, everybody's for legally sure. legal adults. Yeah. You know. And they have to come to that conclusion themselves mm -hmm. that one of the statistics that I remembered um, from all of this was that it takes a woman an average of seven to eight times to leave their abuser before they actually leave yeah so it takes a while it's ju not just like a one and done like they go back they go back they go back yeah and it's it's crazy but they're in this they're in this cycle you know so maybe somebody gets out I saw in the news a little while ago that one woman got out who was an assistant to his or something like that and is now trying to get this ball rolling a little bit. So maybe we'll see something happen in the next couple months, but this is a good step, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, real quick, I want to touch on this. This is such a big uh, news item, a big thing that's going on, affecting a lot of people. I know we yeah. really we really do uh, intentionally try to avoid uh, talking about politics at all. You know, sure. we'll talk about social issues and stuff like that, but politics is a whole other thing, right? Mm. Um, and it's just very divisive. We don't want to get people fighting, basically, you know? Mm. Uh, but this one we want to just touch on is the shutdown, right? The government shutdown. If you guys don't live in the U.S., you may not be familiar with the fact that because Congress and the president can't agree on a budget going forward, um, then the government, had, they, there's no funding bill to be passed to actually fund the government. They have to pass that. So there's a lot of different things that now no longer have money associated to them right now and can't operate. Mm -hmm. And that extends to uh, TSA agents in, in, the, uh, in the airports. Yeah. Um, my, my, friend's, uh, my friend's girlfriend works for the EPA and she's not working right now. Um, and there's a lot it's of different... A month. Yeah, there's, it's been a full month. Now, it's the longest shutdown now yeah. um, in the country's history. And people are they missed one paycheck. They're about to miss a second paycheck. Or they may have just missed a second paycheck. I don't remember. It's right around yeah. there. Um, the Super Bowl's coming up. Oh and, if the, and if the flights don't have their, their stuff together by then, that's going to be a disaster. Yeah. Um, so it's really scary. And I'm curious, uh, basically, to you guys, if any of you are government workers that are furloughed or if you have you a, a family member who is or, yeah, if we have any friends that are and how they're affected by it. Because a lot of the stories, personal stories, are are pretty scary uh, it, it seems that um, uh, banks and credit companies are kind of doing what they can uh, legal you know just like by by their on their own with like 
offering some assistance or offering to like defer payments well, yeah, and like like, like lessen lessen penalty charges yeah. or stuff like that. Like yeah. um, I, I, like I'm, I, like auto companies aren't like in a hurry to go repo you know your repo car. your car if you miss a couple payments because of this because uh, a lot of them are saying hey if you can if you provide proof that you work for the government you're affected by this shutdown we'll work with you. Yeah. But you know at the end of the day it's still gonna be paid at, pay back. Uh, a slight silver lining here is that there's something signed that said the government would give them back pay. Right. Um, once this whole thing is over, but, but that, that doesn't, doesn't account for interest, interest and, problems and um, penalty fees and stuff like that, and yeah, any yeah. penalties that may have already been carried out in the meantime. Mm -hmm. You know, there's uh, there's going to be a lot of last credit. damage here. Yeah. Yeah. I saw missing one mortgage payment can drop your credit score 100 points. Yeah. So, all at once, immediately. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right. So and that stuff stays on your record for seven years. Yeah. You know, it's tough so to get people back. People are from. trying to send their kids to college or something, or where they want to buy a home or yep. something like that. This could really derail. College it. loans. Yeah. There's a big deal around here because we live in a big area where there's Coast Guard because yes. we're on the coast and there's a lot of Coast Guard and a lot of um, people who are affected and same thing I think there's a Boeing thing around here there's a lot of government workers who work for Boeing in this area that are all just kind of chilling yeah so there's a list here for uh, businesses we'll link it down uh, below that are helping some government workers there's some things uh, yeah there's like, some relief go, programs assistant out programs there. some like zero interest loans if you want a loan or anything because I, I'm encouraged that some businesses are kind of like, all right, like we'll help you out here. Like mm -hmm. this is because it's as much, crazy. As they, as much as under their power, they have to operate too, right? Yeah, I, I know there's, there's, they could understand, but there's still their policies in place. Like I saw in the news a little while ago, a wife of um, a guy in the Coast Guard said that she is going to try and defer her mortgage, but she has to file like hardship paperwork. Yeah. And that'll take seven to 10 days to come out. And mm -hmm. then that goes on your credit. And then what if it reopens and it's all mm -hmm. for nothing? So it's like this this crazy thing going on. There's this mad scramble happening. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy to do, but but there are options yeah. out there. And there's, you know, there's only so much private companies can do. Yeah, know? They, yeah. Because they, if they don't make money they go broke they lose their workers lose their business and help anybody i know you know so they you know you have to pay the money back and they're uh you, you hear that they're they're doing their part to help defer payments and stuff like that so that's good but at the end of the day we really need the shutdown to end um one way or another you know uh whatever your opinion happens to be on how that has to happen that's really contentious uh <laughs> yeah. but if you um huh. if uh if you're curious if you know somebody affected maybe check out some of the links we have in the description yeah, maybe they can sure. get a little bit of help in the meantime until they solve this whole thing right lastly Woo! There's a new Spider-Man trailer out. Yeah! Okay. Now, full disclosure, we did not see Spider-Man Homecoming. What? So this is the second uh, Spider-Man movie, if I remember correctly, in the new line, um, mm -hmm. in the in the new reboot here, because they've rebooted again. Yes. But I heard such really good things about Homecoming, and uh, like on Rotten Tomatoes, it's like 90 some percent. Like yeah. it's really rated very high. Um, and I've heard very little negative about it, so I know there's a lot of excitement about this one. And I fully plan on going back and watching Homecoming, being one of the ones I really want to catch up on. Oh. Uh, so we're still, you guys were asking us if we were going to watch this trailer, and we still want to make sure we I see it. I definitely want to see it, yeah. Just kind of see where it's headed oh, from totally. here. Oh, totally. And this is a good Spider-Man, too. Spider-Man. It's so weird that he's not American. Thank you, Spider-Man. Spider-Man! That was so good. Is that Marissa? Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Hey, baby. Planning a trip? Mm hmm. Going to Europe. Sweet oh, music. That means he's young. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a teenager. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Pick, 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 pick. Pack your suit. Peter Parker here, pick, pick. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Peter Parker here to pick up a Peter Parker here to pick up Zendaya! You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no. Good for you. I'm messing with you. Oh. You look pretty too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes you, dude. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my food call. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. Hey! You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he gonna be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. Beth! <laughs> I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome! Ah! Good gifts, Parker. We have a job to do. 
Are you going to step up or not? You're all alone. Your friends are in trouble. What are you going to do about it? Oh! You don't want any part of this. Jinx Gyllenhaal? You serious? He's getting in on it too. Is he? I don't even want to get it wrong. Oh, yeah, the song! Who is that guy? He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider Man. What is it with you and Spider Man? What? He looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna make so much money. That looks really cool. That does look good. Cast is crazy. Got a little bit of sass. Yeah. I love me a movie with Sammy J. Yeah, I mean, well, he's in a lot of these. I know, I know, <laughs> but it's just kind of like, is he in it? I'm just going to go see him because yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, what a contract Gosh. he scored with this one, right? He, like, that dude exists in every single one of these, like, situations, know. you know? It's interesting to see the bigger, uh, not the bigger actors, but, I mean, because it's been like this for a while. Yeah. Really kind of getting into it at this late stage in the game. Yeah. You know, because they know that, that, like, Jake, I was like, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake, oh Jake Gyllenhaal, holy yeah. crap. So that's, and he's so good. And Marissa Tomei, you know? like, yeah. you serious? I know, so that's, that's amazing. I'm really excited. That's going to be really cool. It makes the movies better, right? Because you're all you're also getting really good, solid acting from it. Because that used to oh, be gosh, the problem. Yeah. All those uh -huh. old school superhero movies <laughs> from, <laughs> <laughs> from like <laughs> 20 years ago, Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, like just really bad acting, you know. And it's just like it's so cringy. That's like good. man, like I want to see this like story, but like. Okay, and like, right. I just, it's just so bad. Yeah. You can't get through it. And like, that's totally changed in the last decade, yeah. too. Yeah, oh, know? totally. I think yeah. ever since uh, the first Iron Man, mm. when, um, uh, what's his face? I'm really good with names, you know? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr., that's the guy. <laughs> when he did, everyone was like, Robert Downey Jr. is doing yeah, a yeah. superhero. He's going to be Iron Man. And it was like, or maybe with like uh, Michael Keaton doing Batman, they may have started with Yeah, that, maybe. maybe. But, uh, and Gwyneth Paltrow was an Iron Man, and it was like, That's oh. right, yeah. And, they, and yeah, you started seeing like, like, now they're attracting these gigantic names, and now it's, now it's a normal thing. But uh, it's cool. It, it wasn't like that before, and it's cool to see. Okay, guys, that was this episode of BS on the Internet. Yes, it was. A lot of stuff. <gasps> a ton. A ton of stuff. And if you want to read about any more of it, mm -hmm. links are in the description. Yes. And if you like this video, uh -huh. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye.